if you want to be a follower of Jesus, you've got to really be willing to suffer a lot of persecution. Ah, I don't like persecution. I know you don't like persecution, but you have got a lot of people going against you. Nobody likes a, nobody likes a wolf. I know they don't. I got a lot of persecution. Well, the persecution you get is because you go out and you eat all of those little lamb. I love lamb chops. I know you do. I know you love lamb chops. But the important thing as we listen to the gospel is that if we stand up for what is right, if we try to do what is good, people are going to get all upset with us and they're going to persecute us. Rawr. I know they're going to persecute us and they're going to make everything very, very difficult. Well, then why not just give in? Well, I guess you could, and a lot of people do that. But if you really try to love God and you try to love your neighbor and even love those people that don't like you, ugh, well, if you do that, you're going to get people angry with you, and they're going to throw you away, and they're going to say, I don't want to have anything to do with you, and you're going to get persecution. Ugh, ugh. I know, I know, but that's the road that we have to take if we love Jesus. And you know what happens? Even though we get persecuted, we start to believe that great things are going to happen because good is more powerful than evil. Love is more powerful than, can you imagine? What? What, what word? If, if, if I say to you, love is more powerful than hate? That's right, that's right. Love is more powerful than hate. I don't agree, but you can say it if you want. Okay, but I really do believe that. Now, even though you don't agree, would you tell people goodbye? You, you want to start or you want me? Okay, you, you start. May Jesus' love for you make you smile.